What do you do with your notes once they're in Rome? What's up guys, it's Guy. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on Rome research. I've made a lot of videos on note taking, but I find that for a lot of people, including myself, note processing is actually a much bigger pain point. What do you do with your notes once they're in your system and how do you turn them into content? Whenever I use Rome, I naturally gravitate towards my own version of just-in-time approach. This is not my own term. A lot of other people use that term, but my particular version of just-in-time is extremely hands-off. So what I'm doing over the next couple of weeks is diving deeper into some active methods of note processing to see if it can add some value to my system and therefore to yours as well, I hope. So I've decided to go on a bit of a quest to find out which of these node processing methods work the best under which scenarios. And the best way to do that is just to test them out for a week. So I spent the last week using Zettelkasten as my method of processing notes, running everything that goes into my Rome graph through this processing system. As always, there's timestamps down below if you wanna to skip to the section that's most relevant to you. But here's a quick recap from my previous video explaining how Zettelkasten works. Stage one is you import all of your notes into Rome. So this would encompass highlights. This would encompass any kind of like stream of consciousness note taking from your daily notes section. You would then go in and turn those, uh, turn this content into reference notes. So that's stage number one, reference notes. Reference notes just is the actual note, the highlight with the place where it came from so that you have a way to associate it to the actual source. The next stage of that is you take all of your reference notes and you turn them into literature notes. So literature notes under the system is the second one. And literature notes are basically just summing up those notes in your own words. So now you've condensed the highlight into a very concise version of that note in your own words. So that's a literature note. Step number three is to turn those literature notes into permanent notes. So that's the most important step. You take a bunch of literature notes evolving around the same topic and you turn those into a summarized version of all of those literature notes, which becomes your permanent note. So let's jump in. I'm gonna show you every single thing, the struggles I faced, what worked, what didn't work, the way I ended up setting up my system to uniquely fit this way of processing notes. And of course, what I thought of it coming out the other end. Kind of the hardest thing right off the bat is to figure out how I'm gonna set up these pages, the underlying structure of it. That's already kind of the first hurdle but I'm gonna figure it out. So I jumped into YouTube, do some research. I was full of energy. Come on, man. And the first couple of videos were interesting, but not quite specific enough. Until. Dear friend, simply use plot reference using plot track. This way you... Okay, so that's kind of smart. He's basically writing a shorter form as a literature note, um, summarizing the longer highlight, but then he's using alt drag to create a block reference that references the initial highlight. That's smart. Okay. I figured Chiyomi was gonna have some interesting things to say in this video and he did not disappoint. Okay, so that's why the re he puts the reference notes second. I, I think I would stay with reference notes first because if you're pulled in all your stuff from like a highlight, why not reference it right away? I, I don't think it really matters. So I went ahead and imported my most recent clippings from my Kindle through Readwise. See, this is nice. So basically the reference is already created for me. So we have the reference note already there, category books. I guess it really shows that they're already kind of thinking along those lines. What do I do now? Definitely the overarching theme of that first day. But once I realized I could just use the sidebar and summarize existing highlights into literature notes, the train slowly started moving. And I definitely love the idea of using a block reference to point back to the source. If you see what I'm already, I'm catching myself now going through this and already filtering in my mind for the next step. I feel like, okay, that's maybe not that important. So I'm not going to take a literature note about it. It's probably not the way to do this. I'm going to be disciplined and actually just shorten down every single note here. I'm not sure if that really is necessary, but just for due diligence at the start, let's see. like a, a good insight um, just by I'm not I haven't actually shortened down the note but I just feel like I put it into context which is good on day two I spent most of the day at a we work nearby and in between some other work I took about half an hour to continue turning highlights into literature notes I processed a fair amount of notes but given the time I invested I definitely didn't process as many notes as I thought I would definitely struggling with like not interpreting it already. I think at this point I just need to, um, I think I just need to actually 
sum up, like basically just find my own words for what is being said instead of trying to interpret it. This is definitely a lot more work than I anticipated, but I don't mind it. I definitely see the appeal of it forcing me to go through this because I definitely would not engage with this as well um, as I'm doing now if, if I didn't use this method. So there's definitely something to it. Now that I was comfortable with doing the literature notes, I kind of kept going until I had to face the next step. So I'm now going to move on to the slightly scary step of turning literature notes into permanent notes. I'm just not sure how I would actually set this up, just from a page structure perspective. So I jump back into the video, it doesn't quite work, I get defensive. Having to come up with those keywords, I mean, it's what I already do, I just feel like I'm doing it in a quicker way, but I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> you mad. It's just, I guess the benefit really lies in that extra one or two times that you do actually read each note and then turn it into something that's in your own, you know, using your own words. And then it finally clicks. Oh, so this is really like basically pre-writing essay paragraphs. It's interesting. It's so similar to what I did for the paper writing video, but it's just, it's basically just like pre-writing papers. So I could definitely see how this is useful when you reach a critical mass, because that, whoa, that would be incredibly powerful. If I basically just like turn everything that enters my room graph, package it into pre-prepared um, essay paragraphs or I mean they'll just fit into anything scripts features um, like blog posts essays whatever it is um, basically just ready to be turned into content that's really cool I feel like it, it just clicked for me for the first time why this is a popular note-taking method um, I don't know how I'm gonna get that critical mass within a week but you know what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to um, prep some essay paragraphs and see if it fits into anything okay this is what I'm gonna do now yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna just go through and actually highlight anything that I feel like deserves to be a permanent note I do feel like there is more to that system though when I first researched settled cost it really hinted at this idea that you combine numerous different literature notes into one permanent note which I guess I was looking to do in this step now but then I realized that the only literature notes I have is on excellent cheap so it it really I think that's maybe a later step. This one's good. This is really good because I do that. I already know this ties into something I learned in economics, which I I'm planning to make a video about. Um, so let's just go into this one and then probably call it a night. Uh, it tells us what current societal systems are truly. Seeing. See, I'm not sure whether I like having page titles that are this long. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to go with it. This is where I can't hold on to like my own preferences for how things are structured um, because I keep preaching about the fact that it should be messy and I don't have to control everything. So I really should walk the walk in this respect and be okay with this super long page title. Okay, so the next step would be source. So that would be excellent sheep, say keywords that education so that would definitely be hashtag education um, hashtag um, economics and then there I would make type um, permanent note. so I can't really do related notes yet but this is where I guess uh, I oh okay so this is actually where I could pull in other literature notes um, if I if I can find them I feel like a lot of these relations do happen through memory though. I would prefer it if there was some almost automated way for Rome to just connect these things. So now it's almost you've taken a shorter concept and you are elaborating on it. And this part was very fun. Once I got to this, I definitely found my flow and I just kept going. So this might've been a little bit too much uh, as a permanent note, but I just felt in the flow and I kept going. And I do see the value in this, I mean, these, these paragraphs could be inserted uh, with very little editing into a blog post or a video. To have it in such a concise and organized form is definitely very satisfying to look at. So I rode that wave all the way into the final day, getting more permanent notes done, trying to pull as much information into these notes as possible. Let's try to actually connect these notes in some way or form.
What is he doing? Some more interesting insights happened and that got us to the end of the experiment. Hmm. Okay, so in conclusion, this was definitely a valuable experiment. I was impressed by how the system forced me to take a closer look at my highlights, truly engaging with them, having to put them into my own words, definitely makes a difference. I realized how valuable it was to take notes and expand on them, to bring in other material, to enrich that particular thought and spin it into something that's greater than just the highlight itself. But that process was simultaneously my biggest pain point as well. While it was super interesting to go through that process, going from literature notes to permanent notes, I feel like all throughout that process, I did have to rely largely on my own memory. And that's something that frustrates me a little bit because I feel like there must be a more efficient way to connect everything when I'm sitting in front of a program like Rome trying to leverage the power of the platform to really do those associations for me and not having to rely on the associative power of my own brain necessarily as much as I did this week. And this most likely boils down to my own limitations when setting up the system or understanding how to really do this. I really stuck to the ways that other people were doing this online when I researched it and I didn't go further than this for the sake of this experiment. That being said, I think I wanna take it further trying to find some way to actually use the keynotes that the system already forces me to come up with under the way that I did it now and putting them up into the sidebar, opening up those unlinked references, seeing what else I can pull in. I can definitely see how scrolling through the permanent notes the way that I was doing it this week, kind of skimming for different content that I can potentially pull into related notes is really valuable, especially at scale. I realized that doing the system for one week only is not gonna scale this enough to really put me at this critical mass where everything will start intersecting in a beautiful kind of powerful way. The other pain point I do wanna mention is having the permanent notes title be the literature note itself. I know I was complaining about it during the week. That was mostly a visual thing at the beginning, but really thinking about it more, I'm not sure how valuable that is because I would personally want my permanent notes under this particular application of the system to be even more abstract. And what I mean by that is for them to just be on a higher level, pulling in significantly more concepts from a variety of different literature notes, from a variety of different related notes into one sort of overarching think piece that's really becoming this evergreen note that I can continuously reference. I love that the system gave me the space and required me to look at literature notes enough to then turn them into these permanent notes that were effectively essay paragraphs pre-written. It was incredibly valuable. I see the value of doing this as an end to itself because it really made me walk away from each of these sessions feeling more inspired, feeling like I've created new associations in my mind that I otherwise wouldn't have done right off the bat. That being said, the just in case way of writing these paragraphs up front is valuable, but when it comes to actually creating content, yes, it'll be extremely easy to go to a permanent node and basically just copy paste paragraphs out of it, slightly adjusting them for whatever final product I'm making, be it a video, a blog post, an essay, and I can see how that saved me a lot of time. But writing these permanent notes also takes an incredible amount of time. And you can see that my stamina with the system was pretty low. I mean, I really could only get through two to five literature notes at a time towards the later half of the week, I was maybe doing one or two permanent notes per day. That's it. Part of me feels that if I'm taking all this time turning something into effectively a finished product, I might as well just do it when I have a really good idea as to what the finished product's gonna look like and then I can uniquely tailor it to that particular piece of content. Instead now, I'm using all the time to create a quasi finished piece of content in the permanent note, but then I'm still gonna have to adjust it to uniquely fit whatever I'm actually going to be doing a month or two months or three months from now when I pick up that paragraph and put it into a script or a blog post and that's gonna require time as well to adjust it because at the end of the day, every piece of content is unique and every piece of content is gonna require a slightly different interpretation of the note that I've been grappling with throughout this process. So it really depends how much you value the process of going through this just for the sake of retaining and associating notes at an earlier stage and not just for the sole purpose of turning it into content. And I think this week has definitely shown me that there is a lot of value in going through the process regardless, even if I don't know exactly how it's gonna relate to some piece of content further down the line. So I think I'll definitely return to Settle Custom at some point in the future. I'll probably iterate on it to some extent, share those findings with you as well. 
But for now, I hope this was valuable. If it was, just lightly tap that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell if you so wish. Let me know if you're curious about one particular way of processing notes that you've come across that you'd want me to cover and test. Next up, I'll be exploring the PPV, the pillars, pipelines, and vault structure that is very popular in Notion. I'll see how it applies in a Rome setting. I'm very curious about Natalizan systems, Tiago Forte systems as well. So those are definitely in the pipeline as well if you're interested. As always, I just really appreciate you being here, taking the time to watch these videos. I hope you have a wonderful week. Cheers.